Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Gino Mello from BustedWallet.com and today we are super excited to show you Unique's latest quadcopter, the Typhoon Q500 4K. We have tons of great stuff to show you, so let's get started. So what's in the box? Oh, what a glorious box it is. We have the Typhoon Aircraft 500 series, which is great for video and more stable flight, ST10 Plus ground station with built-in touchscreen display and 854 by 480 pixel screen resolution, Seagull Steady Grip for handheld filming, Seagull 3 4K gimbal camera, UV and ND filter for camera lens, 16GB SD card with tutorial videos, prop installation tool, tweezer, battery door latch lock set, USB interface programmer, neck strap, two sets of rotor blades, two LiPo batteries, sun shield for the ground station, Seagull transport cover for camera gimbal, balancing charger, AC to DC adapter, car charger, USB adapter, charger and cable, quick start guide, and the LED status, calibration, and warning sheets. Whew. Dang, that's a whole lot of tasty trees for $14.49. So let's dig deeper. The Typhoon Q500 4K has a 25 minute flight time and is programmed with three flight modes. Smart mode, which includes the follow me and watch me feature. When the switch is in smart mode position, the Typhoon flies according to your position, also known as intelligent orientation control. So no matter which way the Typhoon is oriented, if you want to fly left from where you are, you move the directional stick to the left. If you want to fly towards the right, you guessed it, it goes right. Moving the stick forward allows the Typhoon to fly away from you, and moving the stick backwards allows it to fly back towards you. This feature is great for beginner flyers or for easy orbit motions. With smart mode on and the ground station in hand, the Typhoon will follow you without even touching the controls. When you switch it to watch me mode, the Typhoon's Seagull camera will face you no matter which direction you fly. Switching to angle mode, you get a manual flight control and normal orientation, allowing the Typhoon to fly in the direction you point the sticks. In this case, forward is the direction in which the Typhoon's nose is pointed, so moving your sticks to the left, the Typhoon will fly left from its orientation. The dynamic return home mode allows the Typhoon to automatically fly back toward you and land itself. On the right side of the remote, you have the speed adjustment for the Typhoon, slow to fast. Out of the box, the Typhoon only reaches 15 miles per hour, which is pretty slow for most quadcopters today. However, if you're comfortable disabling the GPS, you can reach speeds up to 40 miles per hour. On the left side of the remote, you have your camera tilt position. All the way up, the camera is positioned parallel to the horizon. All the way down, it points straight towards the ground. Top left is your shutter button for capturing still photographs. Top right is your start-stop video recording. And of course, this button starts and stops the Typhoon propellers. The ST10 Plus ground station has a great looking built-in touchscreen display and 854 by 480 pixel screen resolution. No need to mount your phone or external monitor. The interface is laid out pretty well and is less intimidating than most. Your voltage is at the top right for monitoring your Typhoon's battery life. Below the volt dwindle is your altitude, followed by your speed, and at the bottom is your distance. The flight mode is at the top left. And moving downward, you have your GPS window, number of satellites that are connected, and finally, your actual position. To adjust the camera settings, you click on the cog icon here, and adjust frames per second and resolution, which includes 4K at 30 frames per second, 2.7K at 30 frames per second, 2.5K at 30 frames per second, and Full HD 1080p at 24, 25, 30, 48, 50, 60, and a whopping 120 frames per second. You can also capture 12 megapixel JPEG and DNG RAW photographs. You can go from automatic to manual with a simple click and adjust your ISO, shutter, and white balance. The Seagull 3 4K is an integrated 3-axis precision gimbal camera that has an aerial optimized fixed focus lens with 115 degrees field of view and no distortion. It comes with a UV filter to protect the lens and also has an ND filter for those super bright days. It also has a built-in mic for recording audio, which is great since this camera is detachable. That's right, this bad boy slides right off and mounts to the handheld Seagull Steady Grip B3 for smooth and easy handheld recordings. This feature right here is huge for a quadcopter at this price. This thing operates with ease and the Wi-Fi connection on your phone is pretty seamless. Now, before taking off, it's recommended to do a compass calibration for a more stable flight. This is done by first facing the Typhoon true north. I keep a compass in my case just for this. Once you've positioned the Typhoon facing north, you can go into your settings and click compass calibration. Then go back to your home screen and make sure you see Mag Cali in your mode window. Then pick up your Typhoon. You'll notice the lights start flashing fast. 
At this point, you have 30 seconds to complete the calibration by rotating it forward once, then turn it 45 degrees and rotate it again, then another 45 degrees, rotate again, then one last 45 degrees and rotate for a total of four rotations. Set the Typhoon down and you'll hear it power down and power back on. I find it much easier to do this with the props off. Once the props are fastened on and the lights are blinking normal, you're ready to take off.